Okay, uh, here we go. Once again, I want to show you the latest because every time I do a video for you, it's always the latest, isn't it? Because, well, that just makes sense. So this is the latest. It's uh, obviously a bit different. This one's black painted. Uh, we actually built it as a demo trailer for a show and we ran out of time to get it galved. Uh, so we used a chassis paint that we've successfully used before and uh, it looks pretty dramatic. It's probably not as good as a galvanized coating because it will get knocked off over time, but it's special chassis paint. It's really tough and it uh, it looks pretty spectacular, but it also does a pretty good job. So uh, really the trailer's roughly the same as all the others we've produced. It's around uh, 5.3 meters on the deck, uh, plus the standard length uh, A-frame. This one's got the new mag wheels and the heavy duty uh, propeller uh, aluminium two and a half mil uh, mud guards as you can see uh, same airbag suspension that we use on all the trailers they get a little bit refined or made larger or smaller depending on the weight that we're carrying uh, you can see we've got some little side indicator lights here we do those on most trailers they vary a little bit depending on what we can get and in this case we've installed a winch very few times a winch is used because the trailer is so flat when it goes down i'll show you that in a minute that a winch is simply not necessary we always carry a spare and of course i can show you a little later how easy it is to change a wheel or tire or do uh, any maintenance on the wheels without the need for a jack because obviously it's an airbag trailer and it can go up and down uh, that's a 2000 kg uh, multi-size uh, CM trailer parts coupling it, it'll do a 1 and 7 8 and a 50 mil fitting and we use a 12 uh, pin uh, trailer socket so we can charge the battery from the car in this case we've also got a solar panel on here there's a couple of volts come out of that and that will keep the battery charged uh, in here we've got your uh, pressure gauge showing you that we've got about 110 psi in the tank at the moment 25 kg tank uh, heavy duty uh, battery the valves and under here we've got our new PCB so I'll just take this top off show you what's in there and the PCB handles uh, the valves it handles the electric brake system which we use e-brakes it's an Australian product really useful we, all the trailers have electric brakes we don't use anything else uh, we've got a trailer plug uh, wiring and 12 volt wiring and we've also got a GPS installed on this trailer uh, which is that unit there and I'll show you how that works but it pretty much tells us where the trailer is, what it's doing, where it's been, where it's going and we've got a remote control for operating the trailer uh, up and down God knows what. I'll turn that off. Um, but also, if you don't have the remote control available, or it's broken or lost or flat battery, you can operate the trailer with uh, these controls, which you've seen before. So I'll put the trailer down. I'll turn on the pump. Here's the trailer in its fully down position. Clearly, no one would have any difficulty putting a a low vehicle on this trailer. You might notice that we've got some extra fittings in the deck of this trailer. This is the 17mm uh, Tech 200 truck deck. We use that regularly. It's really tough. It's non-slip, doesn't seem to wear out. Weather doesn't damage it. And I've inserted in this trailer, uh, other than the two front ones which are offset, some uh, little devices with it hold fittings that you can uh, drop some staunchions in there and in this case we've designed some motorbike uh, front wheel holders but also uh, you can have uh, anything you want that'll drop in there to give you support for something that you want to carry. Uh, dual lights on the number plate, standard indicators and a few reflectors. She's pretty slick. I'll just turn that off because it's noisy. It turns off automatically when it gets up to speed. Um, 
I'll use these two buttons to lift the trailer up. Now you've also got control um, left and right independently so that you, if you have an unequal load or un, an uneven load, I should say, you can lift one side of the trailer higher or the other. That's about the standard ride height. Um, but if you come across an unusual bit of road or reversing into a driveway or something, you can of course lift the trailer up a bit higher uh, to get over any bumps and scrapes. There you go. Um, underneath these brackets uh, is all our uh, wiring and tubing for the pneumatics and the brakes. There's nothing underneath the trailer so that there's nothing can get damaged by stones or uh, anything that might get caught up in the wiring. It's all hidden away inside the trailer. Um, what else can I tell you? We've moved up, of course you would have seen on the last trailer, we've moved up to heavy duty piping. That stuff handles about a thousand PSI, not that we get to those pressures. We normally run about 150, in this case 100 PSI sitting there. Heavy duty jockey wheel keeps the thing off the ground. That's it. Looks nice. Toes nice. They reverse well, um, mainly because of the way that this independent, the wheels aren't locked to each other in any way. Uh, and it just goes where you point it, which is pretty neat. Uh, they tow ever so smoothly because obviously it's um, air ride. So no matter what you've load, uh, loaded it with, the weight of the trailer is offset by the pressure that you need to keep it at the right uh, height and therefore it just sits smooth on the road and along with those heavy duty shock absorbers that we've installed you've got no problem keeping it dead smooth plenty of tie down points as you can see uh, two and a half mil tread plate on the back here we've tried to bolt everything on rather than weld and fit with other fittings and wherever we can we use stainless steel fittings uh, so that uh, you've got some good long-term maintenance uh, options there. That's it. She's a beauty. I think I'll keep this one. I do need one and I might go and put that old Land Rover on it and show you how it works. <laughs>